Hi, this is Belvin Baldwin II from Atlanta, and we're at uh, the El Camino Castle, uh, the castle of no return. And I was told to be prepared for this, you know, visiting this place, but it, it is a, a little overwhelming just to understand not only the uh, atrocities that took place uh, to, to our people, uh, but it, it gave us a great understanding of what struggles they went through, not only uh, how bad they were treated, but for those who survived, how strong character and their strong will for those who did survive this punishing treatment. Um, it gives you a sense of self, a sense of where you come from, a sense of your uh, strong will and perseverance that you have with, with inside you. Uh, we learned a lot today, uh, gained uh, a lot of knowledge that we want to go back home and teach others. So, uh, great, you know, great opportunity, learned a lot, and it, I think they ended with the same, pretty much saying, you have to know this so we will never have it happen again. This castle was built by the Portuguese in 1482. They first arrived in 1471. In 1637, the Dutch took over the castle. Later, the English came in 1872. And when the English occupied this place, the castle was used as a sub-administrative center. During the Second World War, 1939-45, the English brought people from all English-speaking West African countries to be trained here. They were taken to Burma and India as a Royal West African Frontier Force. Three years later, this place was used as a police training school. They were here when Ghana had their independence since March 1957 and they left peacefully. As of now, the castle is 539 years. This is the biggest and the oldest castle in the world of West Africa, in terms of France and land slavery. The story over here is not told to remember the pains, the suffering that our ancestors went through. Neither is it to pass judgment, no, but be a lesson to mankind. It is history. We can never undo the past. We should all learn from the past mistakes. We should let history divide us. We are one people. Show forgive, but never to forget your history.